So when I constantly hear from mothers and fathers of who have children, take for example, I know a woman who has two girls and one boy, three children in other words, um, along with her, um, obviously her husband. So obviously a pretty big family. Um, and she does the weekly shopping and I happened to be just talking to her about it um, the other day and she raised interesting things and she was saying with her friends, you know, the way she, they, to talk with the local GA pitch and everything that. Um, and she was saying with her friends, they were saying the cost of food has gone up and it is true. I, I've been looking at the shop myself. Um, in done stores, super fire, etc, etc. The cost of food, particularly, you know, um, where there were different things that you wouldn't take that be it would go up. But everything really has gone up. And, you know, the weekly shopping has gone up very, very high. You across all the sh sh shops, Aldi, Little and everything. Um, and, you know, there's really kind of a reason. Um, well, there is a reason. Some people do say it's because of the lack of labour shortages, because of COVID, people isolating, etc, etc. We've seen in the UK um, with, the, with the disaster NHS tracking app um, in the UK with the pinging people. Um, and half the bloody country is in isolation um, because of the pinging and I don't know what the pinging about but it seems like a Pokemon game more than a cover track now if you ask me um, but again what do I know I'm just in spirits to cover so um, but yeah this is the thing you know we have to ask ourselves why is the, why is the food gone up um, particularly because the cost of living as we know Ireland's one of the most expensive actually probably is the most expensive country to live in all of you, you pay extremely high rents. You have insurance for both house um, and car insurance gone absolutely. Tr it's true to worth. Like let's totally be honest. Um, you pay for electricity. You pay for you know your internet, your broadband, etc., etc., etc. And then you pay the tax man. Your taxes go to the government, which you never see again. Um, they go to some unknown entity, and um, the NGOs or whatever. But again. The cost of living has gone up, skyrocketed. Um, and then she said, no, she's paying more. Like an average she would pay, and you, this might seem a lot to some people, but an average she would pay 80 euro. She does it once a week on a, on a Saturday, after work on a Saturday. And she usually would pay, what, 80, 85. Something around that for the weekly shopping, right? For the weekly shopping for the week. for uh, Particularly with the school ones, as she says, for school, for, for, with the, obviously one of the, the two girls are going to college, the two girls are going to secondary school, um, and the other fellow is going to college, so obviously she has to pay for his ticket up on the bus to Dublin to go to college. Um, and the take that was, I got nearly mixed up, and he said the boy was going to secondary school. And I, yeah, again, sometimes I have to think about what I'm saying, sometimes I forget what I'm saying. But um, I seem like Joe Biden's up. But, um, but no, it does cost a lot, and I'm sure you would agree, that the cost of living is ridiculous now, and it's totally honest. It's like, you, you, you no wonder people leave this country. No, you, you really couldn't blame them, to be honest. There's better lives in other countries, and um, where they pay less. Um, enjoy life more, and this country is just enslaved to the enslaved and paying bills. Um, but it's, it's a huge cost. It's, it's a huge cost, especially for families, even for single people. It's, you know, the, the cost has gone up. Um, and let's just say you never know, but again, my suggestion then is that it's probably because of the COVID tracking apps, it could be because of Brexit too, good checks or whatever, no now and um, or Britain or whatever, it's probably a bit difficult. Um, and obviously it costs a lot more probably. Um, but um, what I say to people is, you know, I would encourage people to grow vegetables, even your know, Cowards or whatever out in the back garden or turnips or whatever out in the back garden. Um, I know a few older elderly um, citizens that do grow a few crops at the back, a bit of cabbage, a bit of lettuce, etc. etc. But it gives some people, some of them grow carrots. Um, you know, just they, well, they, like, they like doing it, it's a, bit, it's a hobby for them. You know, it's a hobby keeping the garden and um, having a few um, vegetables to eat um, and maybe to give to the neighbour or whatever. Um, but again, it is a good hobby to go into, and I would say to people, and I would coach people, because again, it saves a bit, because I know if you, uh, again, this woman would, I say would be very healthy, and I say she would buy a lot of vegetables, and a lot of, you know, a lot of the healthy stuff, which you probably would pay a lot more now than ever. But again, this is um, what I mean, because if we don't do something with this, the cost, as we've seen during the Great Depression, show, um, the cost of bread and things like that, wet, 
skywalked him. And obviously we all have to know, we all have to admit it, that there will be something like the Great Depression in, in next year or the year after that. Um, because we all know, I'm sure we all can agree, that the level of spending in this country of money, um, no country can sustain that level of spending. Um, and we all know it would lead to an economic downturn. We all know it would be probably the same crack as 2008, unfortunately. Um, but please, God, never come to that. But um, that's all I'm going to say. But I would suggest that people you know, to grow their own food as much as possible. As much as possible, as much as you can. Because it would benefit you. And save you if you save a few bob extra, keep a few bob extra in your pocket, uh, you be win-win chicken dinner. But yeah, that's all I'm going to say. So take care, everybody, and bye.